So to get started with the vehicle safely raised and supported, let's take off the lug nut cover, take off the lug nuts and then remove the wheel. The next thing I'm gonna do is remove the tie rod end from the knuckle. That's gonna allow me to swing the knuckle back and forth and it's gonna give me more room to work. Use a 21 millimeter socket. And if it's not broken free like mine is, tap on the knuckle right here until it breaks free. Pop that off and I like to put my hardware back where it comes from if possible so I don't lose it. Before we go any further, in order to not separate the CV joints inside your axle, pop off this cap and remove the axle nut. To do this, you can use a screwdriver or a little pry bar. Drive it in here. Then pry the cap right off and use your 36 millimeter socket and remove the axle nut. Remove the washer as well. Next, with a punch and a hammer, make sure that your axle breaks free. You want it to not be stuck in the hub, otherwise it will separate the CV joint. The next step is gonna be to remove the brake caliper and its bracket from the knuckle. I have a lug nut on the studs holding the rotor just in case that wants to come off. Take off this 18 millimeter bolt as well as this one up here, and that will release the caliper with the bracket. With the caliper out of the way, I'm gonna remove my safety lug nut here, and then I'm gonna take the rotor right off. If your rotor doesn't wanna come off, put a lug nut back on, and tap it off with a rubber mallet. Remove the ABS wire from that clip. Next, with an 18 millimeter wrench, remove your upper ball joint nut. Okay, my ball joint is already separating, but if yours doesn't, Put the nut back on, use a hammer, and break it free from right here. As you let this separate, push the axle in so it doesn't break. That way you don't separate the CV joints by accident. Make sure your ABS wire is on the proper side. And up here, go ahead and take it out of the frame. You can turn it. On the back side you have a clip. Unplug it. With the ABS wire unplugged, go ahead and remove the the three 15 millimeter bolts that hold in your wheel bearing. There's also one on the back side here. Remove these bolts. I'm gonna leave this one in just two or three threads so that when I hammer the wheel bearing, it doesn't come flying off. Okay, take off your last bolt. And here's your wheel bearing, as well as the backing plate. Next, you wanna take a wire brush or a sanding disc, which would be even better, and clean up this whole surface. Make sure it's nice and smooth, flat. Then you can put some anti-seize all over it. I'm actually gonna replace the knuckle with a brand new one in another video. But if you were to keep your old knuckle, that's what you do, you want this to be nice and clean. Now it's time to install the wheel bearing as well as the backing plate. I sprayed anti-seize all over this knuckle. That way the bearing doesn't stay frozen in there and rust next time it has to be replaced. When you put on your backing plate, make sure that it's bent away from the hub towards the knuckle. Line it up with your uh, bearing. Remember that the uh, ABS wire goes towards the front of the truck. Once the bearing is slid on, get one of your bolts and start it on so the bearing doesn't fall off. Once that's started, you can let go, start in your other ones. We'll snug them up, and then we'll torque these three bearing bolts to 133 foot-pounds. Okay, let's torque these to 133 foot-pounds. That's one, and do the same to all the rest. Secure your ABS wire to it so that it doesn't get damaged. I'm gonna start on a lug nut, which will hold my rotor in place while I work. 
with my axle pushed through the hub and a bungee cord supporting it, I'm going to put on the brake caliper. Okay, let's run these down. Now I'm going to torque these bolts to 130 foot-pounds. All right, now I'm going to get ready to connect my upper ball joint to the knuckle. So with a large pry bar that I put right in there, I'm going to press down, bring the ball joint in, connect my nut on the bottom side. Once my nut is connected, I can let go. All right, at this point, we can tighten up this nut fully. Now the torque for this is 37 foot-pounds, but there's no way I'm going to be able to torque this, so I'm just going to make it really tight with the wrench. Okay, so that just bottomed out right there. I'm going to take my wrench, pull it hard, do it one more time, and that is definitely at least 37 foot-pounds. Next, clip in your ABS wire onto this bracket here on the upper control arm and then connect it into the main harness here, upside down. And then press it into the frame. Now I want to get my tie rod connected into the knuckle again. Start the nut. We'll snug it up. Now we're going to torque this to 44 foot-pounds. One of the last things to do is to put your axle nut back on, so put your washer and then your nut. To torque my axle nut, I'm going to take a pry bar and with the truck back close to the ground, I'm going to put it like this so that as I put pressure on it, the wheel's not going to want to spin. The pry bar is going to keep it in place. And then torque this to 177 foot-pounds. Don't forget about your little dust cap here. Hammer that back in place. Next, get your wheel back on. Start on all of your lug nuts, snug them down, and then I'm going to torque them to 140 foot-pounds. Okay, 140 foot-pounds. And don't forget your lug nut cover.